Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're going to be talking about glasses and uh, the whole glasses situation out here in Mexico. Now, these are an old pair of glasses that I've had with me for several, year now, several years now, I want to say like five years. Same thing with uh, this pair that I have here. But um, as you already know, um, for any glasses wearing individual out there, um, these things after a while they start breaking down. So when I came to Mexico, and, and also they can be very expensive. So when I came to Mexico, I went out um, and I seeked out um, the cheapest eyeglass place that I could find. Um, most glass, a lot of places that I will go to, and um, by the way, I did this again the last couple days, um, trying to find an alternative. Um, I, every place that I would go to would be around uh, 50 to $75 on the lower end, and at the higher end somewhere at around 150 dollars so that would put it back into the u.s cost you know the same almost the same cost as back, you know back home so i was a little discouraged at first but then eventually one day i came across this place which is the place we're going to go to later i don't think i'm going to be able to film in there but regardless um that place i was able to get me some glasses for 600 pesos which equals to 30 bucks and um yeah it was great you know here i'm missing a lens here it was great, but what happened was that I, I dropped these, which by the way, I, I don't drop my glasses much, but it happens sometimes, and uh, one time I dropped these and it went clunk, and when they fell, it, it broke right here. And uh, me and my girlfriend, you know, we tried to fix it, glue it together with a special super plastic glue, and nothing, you know what I mean? As soon as I put this back on, it would break, it's a fucking mess. So I said to myself, well, I got my, I had this one as well, but this one broke here. All right, I don't know if you guys can see it at the bridge, but I was able to glue it back and um, with the same glue, but since this was really good material, well, it's back. But the thing is that the lenses are all beyond scratch. I can barely wear them. What do you guys think? All right, but now I love these the most. These are the most comfortable, but the thing is that these look better, I think. And um, the thing with these that suck is that they're always sliding off my face. They're always like, you see, sliding, sliding. So. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the same old place that I went before with my old, um, you know, um, lenses. I'm still undecided whether I'm going to go with this or this or both. For And so I know that for 500 pesos, which is 25 bucks, I can get new lenses. So for 50 bucks, I can get new lenses on both. And um, these seem to be probably, you know, most like these seem, these, I know these are going to be more sturdy than these. Now, they do sell really good sturdy brand name you know whatever glasses out here but again they're gonna cost you money and i'm right now on a budget unfortunately so um we're gonna see i'm gonna see what i can figure out on the way over there you know which one i'm gonna go with i might just put new lenses on this one and then i'm gonna see if i can paint these with my girlfriend you know put them make them all black and then once i paint them i'll put new ones on these and then that way i'll have both and that's it. I'm good to go. So, all right, guys. Well, without further ado, I'll see you guys outside. We're going to walk now to the glasses place. It's around 10, 15 minute walk. I think 15 minutes. I don't know. Um, we'll find out together. And we'll talk more about glasses out here and that whole situation. Hey, guys. <clears throat> How's it going, guys? Welcome back. Oh, wait a minute. I already filmed a little bit of an intro. That's right. We're talking about glasses. See, I'm so used to just turning this thing on and... Uh, well, you know, starting the recording. I forgot I already started the recording. So anyways, as I was saying earlier about the whole glasses situation, I'm on my way back to that same guy only because as I was going through El Centro the last couple days, you know, just looking for, you know, a new glasses place or, you know, um, yeah, just a new, a new place, you know, that there wasn't that same place. I kept getting quoted all these prices that, to me, I don't know, it just seemed... Um, a bit high for what they had because i could have just gone to the that same mall or a mall you know or or even other places you know very similar to you know the higher end uh areas um you know so, you know and, and i could get like a really good uh, glasses at those places so you know if i was going to be paying so, something close to what i was paying in the u.s I, I, again i would rather go elsewhere where i i know that it, it's just gonna be better you know they're just gonna have better um and just better it's not it's not about the service per se but just um it'll be um a better product at the end of the day all right 
because uh, you know how things could be out here and not just in mexico but any place that um you know everyone's hustling you can get hustled so you know i might say name brand but it's not a name brand all right yeah they might trick you or fool you into thinking that it is that it's a really really good uh you know piece of um you know it's really good glasses and it's not and i'm not saying that that can't happen at the mall too but it can't i mean you know so i'm learning out here that you know things are cheap don't get me wrong so things are very very cheap but then you know it's like you get what you pay for type of thing if you're looking for the same quality and not just glasses but a lot of other things you know like we went to the mall and we saw you know higher quality of certain products and things and and, no, and all that stuff um you would have to you know they have it here as well it's just you're, you're going to be paying the same prices that you pay um back home that's pretty much it you know there's a uh, you know so it's like a lesson in income a lesson in economics as well because you got to remember a lot of these things are imports You know that's why that's why you're paying a, a bit higher price now the whole thing with the glasses I'm gonna tell you straight up there's no reason why glasses should be the same price out here and in other places you know but the thing the reality is is that you know now conspiracy theory time so we're mixing you know Mexico with conspiracy and all kinds of shit today's episode but this isn't a conspiracy this is actual fact even though you might go to your local glasses place even though you might go to your local uh you know okay here look super dangerous intersection here this guy wants to fucking gun it that guy in the black all right let's do it all right we did it so yeah so I was, as i was saying um you know about the what was i saying i forget what i was saying something about the glasses um Oh yeah, so how it goes, out, I mean, how, how the whole glasses situation works around the world is basically that even though there might be a hundred different brands, there might be Ray-Ban, there might be uh, Oakley's, there might be, you know, whatever off name brand, um, pretty much every single brand of glasses, like 95% of them, I know it sounds kind of crazy, but really this is the truth, is owned by one company. I think the company is called Luminex or something like that luminary luminary or luminex or whatever but this one corporation owns all has a monopoly on the glasses situation so that's why you know you go to your to your to your regular you know to your optometrist and um you're paying astronomical prices for glasses because there's a monopoly and there's only one company that gets to set all the prices and i know it sounds crazy but if if you want like let's by the way all the glasses are going to cost you the same so this is a trick in the u.s and not everything works here but definitely this works in the u.s if you want like really like really good glasses or whatever what you do in the u.s is that you actually go to an, an, an optometrist you know like a sears optometrist or by the way they're pakistan Tana, you know but we're just walking through today um because we're going to a different part of the city of its central a lot of traffic it's already like two o'clock in the afternoon but anyways a trick a trick that you could do a trick that you could do um in the u.s is that if you if you live in a bad neighborhood or you're in a bad neighborhood or whatever and you go to um get your glasses at one of the neighborhood stores there you know for the most part you know for the most part what's going to happen is that they're going to give you like shitty brands and and shittier um version of the same glasses that you know you can look okay, so, you know just shitty brands and shitty versions of of glasses and then when you go to really nice neighborhoods literally um you're gonna find uh, like super brand name brand names like brand name uh glasses you know and brand name uh you know stuff literally at the same sears just the, the different neighborhood or same lens crafters and um all of a sudden there you'll get like um like super name brand stuff um for the same exact price because you got to remember like a lot of these places they're all the same price um they all have the same whatever so out here um i, w I wanted to see if like the same thing uh you know the same thing as it uh, plays out but it, but now no it doesn't so here literally they just charge you for the for the you know they charge you everything a la carte 
So, as from my experience, you know, if there's any other experience out there, let me know. But they charge you our cart, so they they charge you for the lens, and then you know after, and then the whole thing after the lens is like then they charge you for the for the thing. So they offer, you know what I mean? They offer these that are like literally for free. And a lot of places, what they're really doing is that they're selling you the the lens, and then they give you the 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 thing for free. If you want like a premium. Um, you know, if you want premium glasses, you know what I mean? Like some something that's gonna be sturdy and not break and fall apart, then um, then you have to pay the US prices or whatever, international prices. And that's a problem. So, oh look, there's a, an accident. Seems like there's a traffic accident up here. This is pretty interesting. Wait, how am I gonna, what? <laughs> All right, so I don't know what happened there, but. That's interesting. Selfie, maybe? <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't... I have no idea how the fuck that guy even... Uh, that was interesting. Anyways, so... <laughs> maybe he wasn't wearing his glasses. Wah, wah, wah. All right, all right. This fucking guy. Fucking hilarious, man. So... Yeah, back to the, the glasses situation out here. You know, um, so right now, you know, what I'm going to do is that, like I said, I have two, um, you know, frames that I bought back in the U.S. They were, sorry about the wind today. Um, they were, you know, were expensive because I bought these, like I want to say five years ago, these and the other ones I showed you. And um, they're still kicking. And, um, you know, I'm, I, I don't abuse them and shit like that. You know, like I try to be as... Uh, careful as possible but you know they do fall they do have their tumbles shit happens and um yeah so all right we're gonna be able to cross there let's just cross so i'm trying to also find the address to get to the place so you know the how i found this place look at this nice uh, little cafe here Car cafe marmalade it looks really nice a lot of tourists in there Look at it. waffles, latte. Nice little place, all right. A little trendy, a little Asian, a little trendy Asian cuisine here. Look at that. Where the fuck am I? What the fuck? I know I've walked through here before. Anyways. So. Oh, yeah, another thing about the glasses out here was that everywhere I went, I asked them, hey, so how long, how long until the glasses are made? Um, how, oh, how long until I get my my new glasses? And everyone's like, oh, five days, seven days, eight days, two weeks. I'm like, what the fuck, man? Are you kidding me? And then this place where I'm going to, you know, like they'll do it like while I'm waiting, like 15 minutes, like around 15 minutes, give or take. So that's why I'm going here. And so I'm just going to put you know spend 25 pay bucks 25 us dollars i'm putting new uh glasses on this one and then maybe the other one i'm still undecided i'm gonna see if i can figure i'm just trying to see if i can paint the thing and and go from there but i, I wouldn't much rather have the other one it's just that that little gray thing there so whatever we'll figure it out we'll play it by ear um but i think i'm gonna have both just in case it's just that the other one it might break again i don't know um I don't trust that glue even though it looks like super sturdy okay we're off topic here so yeah i mean now let's just talk about other things real quick for a second you know um sidetrack from the from the glasses situation you know out here again with the whole glasses thing um that goes for a lot of things remember we already you know talked about the shoe situation we talked about a lot of things so like if i'm gonna get some nikes out here i'm gonna pay probably higher than u.s prices you follow me um most likely you know from what i was already seeing otherwise I'm, i can definitely get like a lot of knockoffs or i can get like really cheap shoes or in my case you know where i went to that decathlon place um where um you know i took you guys with me um you know we were able to find really good shoes for like at, how much was it like uh i want to say 15 to 20 bucks but they were actually really good so i'm still wearing them and hell yeah and um yeah, you know what I mean? There's a lot of things like that, you know? 
um, you usually get what you pay for. Now, a lot of things are cheap out here. Don't get me wrong. Things are still very cheap, but, you know, a lot of things as well, you know, they they break down. The cheaper they are, the, the, the more they're going to break down, the, the higher the likeliness of them breaking down. And then on top of that, you know what I mean? Like, um, a lot of these products are imported straight from China. So, you know, they're just shit. And this is the truth. And, um... You know, these are the situations. All right, now let me let me check the map. Because I think I'm already walking too far. I don't even know where the fuck I went. All right. So um, I'll, I'll check with you guys in a minute. All right. Sorry about that. Just wanted to make sure I was heading the right direction. I just got to keep walking a little bit further, I think. And uh, I just got to keep an eye out to the right. That's where it's going to be. Might be another block or two, I think. Thing is that I don't know where this place is, too. That's another thing about Mexico that's kind of whatever you can't trust google maps you can't trust um you know even when they say okay we're open from this time to that time because everybody opens whenever they want they close whenever they want um everything is just random you know which is oh which is good because that's ultimate freedom you know right um but it is a pain in the ass sometimes so and then this place in particular i couldn't even find it on google i, I lost the, the receipt or paperwork from from the last time so i couldn't find it i just i i mean so yeah so i, I mean i'm just going by memory here and i've been here before in this area and um i know there was something i think the post office is really close by and so that's kind of like what's what's helping guide me now and uh we're just gonna go with that but um you know regardless you know just taking a nice little walk taking a little nice little stroll with you guys uh hopefully not in vain because i want to get these new glasses already because uh you know these things are already giving me a headache you know they have so many scratches and they're all fucked up and uh, i just haven't had the time to come out here and you know just struggling with uh what the hell is going to do with my my you know my frame situation but for now, you know, all I can afford is just to put new glasses on these, you know, put new line, uh, whatever on these and go from there and just hope for the best and pray for the best. But I think I'll be all right. You know, these things have lasted a long ass time and, you know, it is what it is. Right. But, um, yeah. So, oh, there, I think I see it. I found it. Okay. We're almost there. Oh yeah. So I'm just going to show you the place. I'm going to go in there. I'm not going to turn the camera on. I'm going to turn it off. And, um, yeah, look, so this is the place here. So, just so you can take a look at it, where we are. Looks very residential, right? And then look at that place there. So it's in there. I think they're still open. Yeah, they're open, okay. So, all right, well, I'm gonna go in there and see if I can get this rectified, fixed. And um, I'll, I'm, I'll catch with you guys later, okay? So I'll see you guys when I get out of here. solid and he just took these off he said that this is still good this is the one that I fixed right here in the bridge look how old these things are like yellow man these things are so old so anyways um I'm gonna go and repaint these you know paint them black right there I'm gonna repaint those black and then bring them back and get new glasses and then have two pairs all right just in case no more um, living with my heart, you know, pounding because I don't know if, uh, if I break my glasses, I'm blind because I'm, I'm blind, literally, without these. Well, I'm not that blind. Right. All right, guys. Well, I got my new glasses. All right. Well, these are the old frames, but <clears throat> the new glasses. Now, I'm filming out of here because it's already starting to rain. It was just raining. You can see the, the rain on the ground um, and I'm just here like under like a little ledge so I don't get wet but I just wanted to show you guys the new glasses and show you guys what's up and uh, and that's it I think I'm gonna cut the episode right here so 500 bucks 500 pesos so it's 25 bucks and they adjusted them now and um, I think they won't be falling off my face for a while and then um, yeah I guess when I paint the other ones I'll just come back and I'll 
um, add the new lenses to those for 500 more pesos and that's it. So, all right, today was my adventure in glasses shopping and um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I was gonna say hunting, but I mean, I already came to the place and it was the same guys, they were really nice, really cool. They were really nice and really cool. And again, it all took like around, I think 20 minutes, give or take, yeah. So, all right, I think it stopped raining for a minute. So yeah, I mean it was a really really great experience. It was awesome. I loved it. It it, it, it I don't know um I don't know where they're making the lenses or what, but I wouldn't be surprised if a lot of these other places that make you know that you know all these other uh, all these other glasses places that I've been to and all the other glasses places around here, they might go to them to get the lenses done. You know what I mean? Because. Um, I mean, I don't know. I don't know why else they would be so cheap. But regardless, they're cheap. They're great. They're wonderful. They do the job. My headache is already gone. And I feel great. <laughs> so, with that being said, guys, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Because um, <clears throat> just as quickly as the rain came and went, it will come and go again. And um, uh, the last thing I want is to get my camera wet. Um, so... All right, guys, I love you. Hope you guys are having a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. Um, and um, yeah, that's it. Sorry, I'm, I'm a little bit out of it right now because I'm just looking at the clouds, you know, like hoping it doesn't rain. It, is, it looks like blue skies over here, but it's black on the other side. And I got to go that way. So don't worry. I, I brought something to cover the camera just in case. Um, but just trying to get home as soon as possible. I was going to go grocery shopping real quick. But I might have to go home real quick first and then do that. So, all right. Well, guys, don't forget. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys. You guys are the best. Don't forget to please like, please subscribe, please share. Give a big shout out to all my patrons. Give a big shout out to everybody out there. Um, give a big shout out to, to everyone, man. Literally. I love you guys. You guys are the best. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, today's video because I enjoyed making it, as always. All right. Well, I'm going to get the hell out of here, guys. It's really hot and humid out here. Peace. Have a good one.